Hello. What? A murder? That ain't news. We had three yesterday. Hello. Los Angeles is on fire. All right. I'll send a man down. Hello. What? A car parked on the wrong side of the street? Did you ring? Yes. Call out the reserves, will you? Reserves. No young fire, fire, no young, young, young. the jewel robbery at the ball last night? Oh, go on away. I'm writing one of them there scenarios. Yeah, now, just a minute, you great big flat-footed cop. You better listen to me. Somebody stole Norma Shearer's jewels. Well, what of it? Well, they stole them from us. Why, the dirty crooks. Inspector Kane speaking. What? I'll get right over with two of my best men. Thank you, boys. Where will you be when I need you? Right here. Okay. I told you not to make that last payment. Of course I've lost them. Don't sit there looking as though I hadn't. I wouldn't have lost them for the world. They were all mementos. But, um... Hedda, don't talk so much. But, uh, I've looked there, too. Yes, but, uh, I've looked there already. But who was there? Well, let me see. I was with Billy Haynes, Jack Gilbert. We don't want any. Whether you want it or not, you're going to get it. Joan Crawford. Miss Shearer? Oh, Inspector, I've been waiting for you. Did you ever lose any jewels before? Why, yes, uh, no, sir. Not this week. Do you suspect anyone? Why, my nerves are so shot, I suspect everyone. You weren't at the ball, were you? Why, no, ma'am. I never go up. Ah, you hesitate. You found them. Oh, isn't he a lovely man? <laughs> Do give them to me. Calm yourself, lady. I'll find your jewels or die. I wish you would. Huh? Joan. Hmm? You mean you actually took it? Yes. You see, I came home from the dance with it hidden under my wrap for fear someone would take it from me. Well, Joan, if we weren't such good friends, I'd say... You'd say what? I won't say it. Oh, Bill. If you'd wanted something all your life and fate made it right in your path, what would you do? Grab it and run like... Mm -hmm. Like you did. But you have to take it back. No, I'll never take it back. Oh, yes, you will. Come on, hand it over. Who are you? Inspector Kane, I heard what you said. You stole Miss Shearer's jewels. Jewels? Oh, you're crazy. Here's what I took. <laughs> oh, Miss Lee, I'd like to ask you... I know. You want my autograph. Ah, uh, forget it. 
Excuse me, Mr. Lowe, but I want to ask you about the ball last night. What ball? You know, you were there with this lady. Oh, yeah? Get out, get out. Go on. Yes, sir. So you double-crossed me, eh? You know, I don't think they like me. Were they there? Oh, I didn't wait for the answer. Go on back and find out. Yes, ma'am. What? Yes, sir. Excuse me, please. I forgot to wait for the answer. Say, listen. If you don't get out of here, I'll send you back to Poland in a pine box. No, not Poland. Sweden. All right, Sweden. Oh, thank you very much. Well, what'd he say? Oh, he's a nice fella. He's going to send me to Sweden. Come on with me. Mr. McLaughlin, can I talk to you? What is it? Norma Monsieur's jewels were stolen last night. Do you know anything about them? Are you insinuating that I took them? No, I'm only asking you. Oh, now you see what you've done. He won't send me back to Sweden. Oh, yes, he will. Uh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself hitting a little Norwegian like that. Says you. Says me. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm not from Norway. Sweden. That picture should be over on the left. No, it should be over on the right. Is that so? Yes, and so are you. I want to see Winnie Lightner. 807. Thank you. How did you know she was an 807? Sing a little bit. Oh, for the love of Mike, hold your shirt. I'll be right there. Hello? Inspector Kane speaking. Can I see you now, Miss Leitner? Good gracious, I hope not. Fifi, package of cigarettes. What time, Miss you? Chesterfield. Oh, do you want a match? I get one for you. Uh, senorita? <laughs> I see. You are very popular with the ladies, yes? I like all the pretty girls. Oh, uh, the matches. Gracias. Well, such popularity must be deserved. <laughs> you flatter me. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Baxter. Did you attend that ball last night? No, no, no. I, I am so sorry, but I do not dance in English. <laughs> Adios. Au revoir. I know you. You're Miss Irene Dunn, aren't you? Yes, I'm Irene Dunn. What do you know about those stolen jewels? Jewels? Oh, were they in a purple box? Yes. Oh, with a silver padlock? Yes. And a gold ribbon wrapped around them? Yes. But I never saw them. You know, I'm still nervous. What you need is a cup of coffee. Boy. Hey, waiter, bring me a cup of coffee. Just as soon as I can get to you. I don't like that guy. I don't think he's a waiter. At least he don't act like one. Oh, yes, he does. I think he's a crook. Yeah? Wait a minute, I'll ask him. Son, are you a crook? I mean, what is your business? I'm Inspector Kane. What'd I tell you? What do you mean? Well, if you're an inspector, what are you doing here? Shh. I'm looking for pearls. Why don't you try the oysters? Now, wait a minute. <laughs> That's good. Listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. This is serious. There was a ball given last night. Yeah, it's still on the menu. What's They're on the menu? Codfish ball. Right? Listen, this is serious. This ball was given for ladies and gentlemen. We weren't there then. No, we weren't no. there. No. Some jewels were stolen from Norma Shearer. Does she work here? No, she don't, but I'm going to get those jewels. Do you know anything about it? Wait a minute. If there was a ball given last night and any jewels were stolen, had we been there, he would have gotten them. Now, why make a crack like that? I had nothing. Hey, Wait did you ever steal anything? Wait a minute. Better let me ask him. Wait now? Now. What do you mean by doing that? He told me to do it. He did? You tell everything you know, don't you? Don't give me that. Wait a minute. Ah. Wait a minute. Did you ever do this before? Yeah, in Rio Rita we did. Oh, you're you dead? Well, then, sure we... <laughs> Oh, pardon me, Mr. Dix. I'm a detective. Where can I find Lowell Sherman? A detective? Yes. <laughs> well, you ought to know where to find him. By the way, how'd you know I was Richard Dix? Well, I guessed it. <laughs> will you guess where Lowell is, will you? 
braces on you. Don't thank him and then kiss him. But naturally, I thanked him and kissed him. I know, but they're different kinds of braces. Tommy, yes, sir. did you get that man to play the detective? Yes, sir. Oh, who are you? I'm a detective. No, you're not. You won't do. You don't look a bit like a detective. Come on, Sue, will you? Get, get that. Oh. Now, now, now. Hello. <laughs> now. Oh. Excuse me, please. Now. Uh, yes? Now. Yes? Now. Yes? No. Yes. Now. Hey. Come on, Geller. Come on, get this other one. Mr. Oh, Gallagher. So. Yes. No. Hello. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. No. Maybe. Have you ever got your copy ready? Yes. No. Maybe. Well, have you got it or haven't you got it? Oh, oh it's you, you, Mr. Cooper. Cooper. Set him down. Hang him up. Set him down. Hang him up. What do you think we're running here, an almanac? Well, you know, well, you see, I, I, I couldn't look my, my, a pencil I, I, in time. I, I, I ought to have a, a new typewriter. Oh, a new typewriter to rip Oh, off. really? Here's the story of the film ball last night. Okay, Gibson, were you there? Sure, I had a great time. I left before it started. <laughs> hey, Chief. Chief, great story. Norma Shear's jewels were stolen last night at the movie ball. No one arrested, but everyone suspected. Now, isn't that unusual? Just like the weather out here. So you know I wish Fado Vance was here. Who? Fado Vance. Say, Buck. Yes. Why don't you get in, in touch with that French detective friend of yours, that uh, Morris uh, Chandelier? Great idea. Mm. Hollywood 2400, please. Yes, yes. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Wasn't that a grand party last night? Yes, I wonder if they found any trace of those stolen jewels. Huh? Oh. Hey, 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 hey. I know you. You're Douglas Fairbanks, Jr. Them's fighting words, stranger. Well, anyway, this is Miss... Uh... Everybody knows her. Loretta Young. <laughs> Quiet. Don't talk. Answer my questions. Will everything we say be used against us? Ah. So you've hocked the jewels, have you? You dropped that yourself. Me? Oh. Oh, pardon me, just a minute. Are you Richard Barthelmus? Why, uh... No, uh, there he is right over there. Clever fellow. What a makeup. Pardon me, I want to see him just a minute. Oh, Mr. Barthelmus, I want to talk to you. I'm not Barthelmus. No? Louise Presenter. Uh, pardon me, Mr. Butterworth. You want it on the set immediately. Dan. Hmm? What's a three-letter word for perfection? You, darling. Flatterer. <laughs> hey, BB. What's a five-letter word for me? Jewel, sweetheart. Frank Faye? Yes. Do you know anything about those stolen jewels? No. Why, oh, Barbara Stanwyck. May I present Mr. Faye? We know each other. We're married. Why, of course. Do you know anything about those stolen jewels? I've just written the most beautiful piece of poetry. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I've got to go. Just a second. Let's hear it. Oh, no, there's more. Wait. In a year or so, the girl returned, and mighty proud was she. She told how she'd done her duty in the Great War or the sea. She told how she picked up the wounded and held each one to her breast. So the woodworkers got together and made her a cedar chest. <laughs> well, I'll see you around sometime, I guess. And kindly come in the garden, please. Say, hey, wait a minute. Which one of you two are Jack Oakey? Say, Jack Oakey, what's your name? Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Were you at the ball last night? The ball? Oh, let me see. Oh, no, no, I was at the ball. I was playing a, some miniature bridge with three of the singer's midgets. 
<laughs> now, wait a minute. Don't you get fresh with me. Now, wait. You're going too far, sir. Don't you understand? It's the business with me. You have what to do you mean? Oh, very sorry. Well, I, I want to see you happen. later, then. I know, but we've got, got, we got, we got a sweet big scene here to do this kissing scene. Is that it? Yes, right. <laughs> Come on, take them off. I know you. Come on, take them off. No. Take them off, I tell you. No, I won't take mine off unless you take yours off first. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I won't. So it's uh, you, is it? Were you present when those jewels were stolen? Yes. What? Uh, uh, no, no, no. How do I know? Well, because if I was there, I'd have uh, hollered for help. How loud can you holler for help? How loud? Yes. that piece of cheese. They call it the stolen jewels. Take it away before the Board of Health gets here. I'll take it out and bury it. That's a good idea, Billy. Hey, wait a minute. Come here. What do you got there? The stolen jewels. What? The stolen jewels. Just what I'm looking for. So I caught you at last, have I? Oh, but I didn't do it. You didn't do it? No, I didn't do it. Just a moment, please. I have a secret. I did it. Litsy Green, you stole the jewels? No. I was at that ball, and when I saw Edward Robinson and Georgie Stone put this box in the drawer, I knew something was wrong. And I've always been taught that honesty is the best policy. So, I just took it myself. Mitzi, you've saved the plot of the story. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. And the moral of this story is, never spank a child on an empty stomach. <laughs>